Hey crafty friends, Anat Kessler here with Saturday Extravaganza and today I'm creating an art journal page. Um, today I'm going to use Dilution paints. I don't know if you have tried them, but they are really, really great. Um, so I'm going to use the orange, yellow and um, pink, bubblegum pink. And I'm not even going to gesso the the page because I want to show you how great those colors are so I'm going to use this little circle sponge you can use a brush you can use a card you can use your fingers uh, you can use whatever you want I just want to show you how a little paint I have put on my sponge and how far it's covering how much it's covering uh, on the page you really need to use very little color very little paint and it goes a very long way so and since it's that since it's doing that you don't even need to gesso your page because the layer of paint is so thin that it doesn't even hardly even absorbs on the paper and then the paper doesn't curl uh, and it doesn't wrinkle and you really get great results and you can see that I'm only using very little paint from the lid I'm not even dipping my sponge in the container I'm just gonna add this little paper here so I won't paint the pages under by mistake and you don't really need to load a lot of paint on that little sponge. Very small amount will take you a very long way. And I really like those paints. They blend very nicely together and since they are semi opaque you can layer them one on top of the other. Of course depends on how bright or dark the shades are because the darker colors might uh, cover more than the bright colors but still I'm going to show you in a minute when I do some stenciling on the page you'll see how the layering goes now another really good thing about it is since you're using so little paint it's almost dry and I don't even need to dry my page so I have a baby wipe here and I went over the page with a stencil with the baby wipe and that removes some of the paint and moves it around and I don't even e don't even need to use more paint to create a pattern see very cool and it's kind of dry I don't even need to go with a heat tool so I still have more paint on my sponge that I can go ahead and stencil. I don't even need to add more paint. So that's really cool. And you see it's it's dry. It dries very fast. So I'm just cleaning my brush and adding a little bit of yellow. And you can see how the yellow can go on the pink without even smearing it or and I didn't use the heat tool I can remind you so I'm just going over with some more little bit of yellow So you can see how and I still have some paint on my sponge so I'm just gonna go and clean my stencil with my baby wipe and it will create a very very subtle pattern this is like a leftover page I clean all my brushes and stencil on it and then it creates another background for me to work on later so you see that's completely dry now so I'm going to go in with another stencil and I want to show you now 
see how much paint I still have on my sponge actually I want to clean it in on this page see see how much more paint I have and I really used so little and I can go ahead and cover some parts on this page too still with the same color that I have okay so what I want to do now is add some yellow and show you I'm loading the brush here the sponge and it's very small amount of paint and I just want to show you that it's not opaque it's semi transparent so you'll see all that pink and orange underneath it's gonna look really cool So I'm adding color from that little pool of, it's not even a pool of paint that I have on my craft sheet. See how pretty that is? But I want it to be a little bit more opaque. So I'm going to go ahead and add another layer. And the reason I'm drying it is because sometimes when you stencil, you have those little lines that are a bit more paint than other areas so I want to make sure that it's all dry although if I touch it it feels dry but I don't want it to smear so I'm gonna go and add another layer which will make it completely opaque so that's really nice you can have semi opaque or opaque depending on how many layers you're adding how many layers of paint you're adding So after this layer looks like this pretty right and you can still see in between the colors I'm just going to get rid of the excess yellow and see how much still how many how much paint I still have I can still almost cover the entire double spread here with yellow unbelievable so you basically you're getting two pages for the price of one okay so I want to show you how easy it is to write on this on these paints some paints have uh, a bit of a sealer in them a bit of resin in them which makes it really hard for um, pens to write on but um, I haven't dried this with a heat tool and I can still go ahead and doodle on it with no problem. I'm using um, just a white gel pen. Don't even know which one it is. It's by Marvy. I actually use all kinds of white pens and I'm just adding circles in different sizes to this page I wanted this page to be very bright because this is now the season of light we're gonna celebrate Hanukkah and actually tomorrow and then Christmas and then these holidays are all about the light so I wanted to create an art journal page about light and brightness and how you can shine and these colors are so bright that they absolutely deliver the message so I'm just adding circles and circles and they almost look like those little dust particles that you see sometimes when you when the sun is shining and it almost looks like fairy dust if you know what I mean so this is what I want to add here on the page sort of like a fairy dust glittery feeling that the light sometimes has in different angles and different times of the day so I'm just adding more and more circles 
and the white gel pen is a really good way to do this of course if I were to do it with a black pen that would kind of not compatible with the light theme so I'm just going to add circles now with the same foam that I've used before again just taking very small amount of paint from the lid and they almost look like little suns right in space little stars bright stars I just wanna put that little piece of paper there and I also want you to see how many details you can add on a page while working with only three colors and again cleaning all the excess on that page there and even though you're only working with three colors you can do so much and I'm just adding a little bit more yellow with my finger here here and there and it almost looks like little clouds because the amount of paint is very small so it's still semi opaque and you can see the pink underneath the yellow so that's the layering that you can achieve with these with these dilution paints okay and I also want to add a little bit of more white but first let's stamp so what I'm going to do is take a white Posca pen and color my stamp. Now the stamp is not very clean and it won't be, won't be completely white and that's fine. It's going to be like a dirty white and I'm going to stamp the word light so I'm starting from the T. So you see it's sort of white and black and brown and all kinds of colors are in there and I'm just going to go over the T with my white pen it's a, like I said it's a Posca pen but I'm not going to go over it covering it completely in white I'm just going to go back in to some of the areas here and add a little bit more white the reason I have this little paper in the side is because I'm cleaning the pen because it gets the tip gets a little bit dirty if you're going over something that is not completely dry like here so next letter is an H and it's a really good way to stamp using the pen to color the stamp instead of you can use ink by the way so now this one is cleaner but again need to go over a little bit especially the lines so the letter will be more visible look looks will look more a little bit like an H because the white sometimes is not visible enough remove the H and then add the G the reason I'm not putting all the letters together is because I want them to be in different heights and they're actually too big to fit on my acrylic block and Posca pen dries fairly fast so I need to do each letter separate so the ink will not dry up on me and then I couldn't stamp so this way by doing each 
letter separately you get a really nice coverage and the ink doesn't dry before you go ahead and stamp I'll stamp the eye now where is the eye? I'm looking for it sometimes when you get those big letter stamps you know pages or they're arranged not in an alphabetic order so then you have to look for each letter because it's not in its natural place so sometimes it's a bit confusing okay so the I is there too and then we can go ahead and add the L really like those pins by the way especially the white ones they can write on almost anything okay so I'm just gonna go over the letters a little bit just the lines makes them pop out more And the good thing about the Posca pen is that you can, since it's not drying very fast, you have time to use your fingers to smear them a little bit. And that, I like the way they look when you smear them. Okay, so now we can see that there's a word written here and I'm gonna go ahead and add the rest of my sentiment that I want let your light shine I think that's a really pretty sentiment since we all have that little light within us and all we need is to let it shine through And I'm going to add more white circles, bolder one. I'm going to fill some of the circles that I created before with a Posca pen because this tip is slightly bigger so I can draw larger circles and cover more surface. So that will be a bit more visible. Looks like fairy dust, right? like little stars, like little dots of light also adds to that brightness of the spread okay a little bit more nope I think I'm going to add just larger circles now and again I'm smearing them slightly with my finger almost look like a bouquet effect right so these are filled circles and I think I'm also going to add some empty circles too they'll have a great effect too one up here okay some nice it's really hard to just draw a circle so I never draw very good circles so the fact that you can smear them with your finger and slightly um, make the shape not so visible is really good especially when your circles are not exactly circles
but I like it when it's not perfect. Our journaling is not supposed to be perfect. It's supposed to be your own. It's to, supposed to be your message and your feelings and your thoughts. And whatever you do in it is great. Okay, so I think I like this page. And it's very bright. And the light really shines through. So I like how it turned out. I want to thank everyone for watching and thank everyone for joining me. I hope you like this page and you were inspired to let your light shine. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Make sure to visit my website anotkessler.com. You'll have a link at the end of the video. And I want to wish everybody happy holidays, happy Hanukkah, Merry Christmas, or happy whatever holiday you're celebrating. And I'll see you all next time.